it's Gracie and today I'm doing tier ranking teen TV shows so I watch a lot of TV this list does not even begin to skim the surface of teen TV shows because there are so many out there that I haven't even like heard of probably and I haven't seen I might do a part two so if you think of any that I didn't include in this list comment them down below so I can do a part two with those um, I included some on this list that I haven't actually seen so we're just gonna get started i have my handy little macbook here that we're gonna do and then i'm just gonna sc start screen recording i have to figure out how to screen record open up the champagne pop okay am i recording now I have quite a few shows on here. I, like I said, haven't seen all of them. I have seen some of them. So we're just going to rank these now. So um, an explanation of the tiers. Also, sorry for the American Eagle ads. I do a lot of online shopping on there. But anyways, the rankings. I have God Freaking Tier because the shows that go in this are literally my favorite shows. We don't deserve these shows. So these are shows that are really good and they're just not good enough to be in god tier but they're pretty good well okay i guess i shouldn't use pretty good to describe them because pretty good shows is the next category actually i'm gonna change that now the next one is good shows good shows are shows that yeah i've watched them or i've seen part of them they just aren't hitting the spot anymore and then never seen it are for the ones that i've never seen and i know i'm going to get attacked for some of these and i'm sorry in advance first one is Degrassi. Now Degrassi, I remember as a kid, would come on Teen Nick and I would watch like five minutes of it and then I would like not watch it anymore. But I've never actually seen an entire episode and I've definitely obviously never seen a season then. So uh, I, gotta I gotta put that never seen it because I haven't. But uh, I definitely do want to watch it and I haven't even seen seen like the spinoffs on Netflix or anything like that and I know I would enjoy it it's definitely my kind of show but I haven't gone around to it so the next one is Pretty Little Liars I used to be obsessed with Pretty Little Liars I think I watched it in either seventh or eighth grade when did, wait was it seventh or eighth grade I think it was I didn't have Netflix at the time so I would use, I had my grandma buy me the DVDs for Christmas. So I have seasons one through five on DVD. Pretty Little Liars, it definitely hits the spot. It's a pretty good show. So that's going to go into good shows. Just because I haven't seen it in a while and at the end it kind of just got repetitive. Like why do you need like five A's? Like I don't understand. All right, so the next one is Switch to Birth. This was on ABC Family. So back before Freeform and back when it was actually good shows for the most part, uh, ABC Family was so good. I wish I would have never changed it. Don't even get me started on that. Switch to Birth has the guy from the society, the deaf guy. I think his name is Sean. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's his name. And I really, really like him. And the society I also like, but we'll get to that because that is on this list. So I'm going to put Switch to Birth on good shows because I've never actually finished it. I have st I watched it a long 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 time ago to the point where I didn't really remember much except for the basic concept of it and then I started rewatching it but I just kind of fell off of that so I need to start it again but it was good when I watched it. I do remember enjoying it so it's gonna go on good shows but it would probably go up if I would do if I were to rewatch it. Um, so this next one is The Vampire Diaries, and I know that this is one of the most basic teenage shows literally ever, but I haven't seen it. Um, so that's going in the never seen it tier. Alright, so <laughs> the next one is Riverdale. Uh, so I used to be a huge Riverdale stan. I had a fan account on Instagram for it, so it still exists. I don't use it, like, at all anymore. Every time I would try to get into it again, it, like... I, I just couldn't. So basically, Riverdale used to be a huge thing. Season one was really good. Don't get me wrong. Season one was good. It had its moments where it was like, 
like the Veronica kiss, like that was so unnecessary. Don't even get me started. That was queer baiting. I did enjoy season one. But then season two came, season three, and it just got a little out of hand and kind of ridiculous. And now season four, and I'm not even watching it anymore. I'm gonna probably, I like watch part of it and then I just quit watching it and I might finish it when it comes on Netflix. So that's gonna go on. I'd rather be watching something else. So the next one, Gossip Girl, I've never seen it. Uh, I do want to watch it, it's on my list, but that's gonna go and never seen it. Skins, I've been hearing a lot about Skins recently. I don't know why, but I've never actually seen it. So never seen it. Next we have Team Wolf. I'm in the middle of season three right now. Um, I think there are six seasons, but I kind of taken a break from watching it. I've been watching, rewatching One Tree Hill and I kind of stopped from that for a while when I'm starting it again. Uh, so it is a good show nonetheless and i'm putting under we don't deserve these shows for a few reasons one dylan o'brien two it's actually really good and i three tyler posey is just immaculate like so is dylan in styles he drives a freaking jeep like perfect so the next show on my list is one tree hill I also have the entirety of One Tree Hill on DVD due to the fact that they took it off Hulu um, and I didn't have, or no, wait, they took it off Netflix, sorry, and I was on season two and they didn't, I don't have a Hulu account. Um, I actually use my friends now, but I didn't use it before, so I had to get them on DVD and that's how I finished it. So One Tree Hill is my all-time favorite show, so we know it's going in god freaking tier. The next show on my list is Awkward. This was on MTV. I never really got crazy into MTV. Uh, that was kind of a little bit before my time. This show was when I was younger, so I never really watched it, but it is on my list. The next show is The Society, which is another one of my favorites. I eat this show up. I've seen it twice. And season two needs to come out before I lose my mind. It's got the same guy from Switched to Birth, Sean. He's deaf. Um, he's deaf in real life, so he plays a deaf guy in both of these. And him and Grizz deserved way more screen time. Like, don't even get me started on that. We're gonna put this show on a god freaking tier because I love the society. All right, so the next show is Sex Education. This is a Netflix show. It's got two seasons, I'm pretty sure. This show is definitely very interesting and it is extremely funny like so funny the characters are awesome and it's got a little bit of romance but it's not 100 percent romance and it deals with some important issues so i love this show we're gonna put it in we don't deserve these shows uh because it's really good but i don't i don't put it up there on god freaking tier uh the next one is on my block on my block is so freaking funny i love on my block if you watch season three you know it literally broke my heart also it gives me some good music to put on my playlist so on my block is going to go on to we don't deserve these shows all right the next one is finding carter this is one of the only mtv shows that i actually watched and it got canceled, which makes me sad. And I started to rewatch it a while ago, but I never really finished the rewatch. Uh, this was a pretty good show that not a lot of people watched. So basically it's about this girl who got kidnapped from her front lawn when she was young and she is raised by her abductor and she thinks it's actually her mom. But then one day she's returned to her family somehow. I don't really remember how. And she has to adjust to that new lifestyle and everything and it's really good so i wish it would have like gotten more attention it didn't get the attention it deserved for sure i think i'm gonna put it under yeah i'm gonna put it under good shows it definitely isn't like god tier or but i definitely would enjoy watching it again so it's not gonna go on i'd rather be watching something else so the next one is american horror story this one's kind of like not really like a teen show it like yeah but I watched it, or I started watching it in seventh grade. Then I stopped for a while, so I don't know. But now I'm still watching it as it airs. The show's really good. Um, I'm not putting it in God tier due to the fact that I haven't actually seen all the seasons. I haven't seen four. Well, I've seen part of four, but I haven't finished it. And then I haven't seen five. So I do need to watch those, I know. American Horror Story goes in. We don't deserve these shows. But the next one is Euphoria. I haven't seen Euphoria. It's on my list. Uh, I don't really know where I can watch it except for 
like my weird websites that take me to things that gives me viruses so I haven't watched it yet because it's kind of a hassle so never seen it okay so the next one is scream so they actually did come out with season three and it was not good at all so mm. but the first few seasons were pretty good uh, I watched them like with my friend but like we Talk. we didn't like watch it together together but like we watched it at the same time and then we like talked about it and then we were like okay you can't go past this episode I haven't seen it yet so we kind of did that um it was good like then but I feel like if I watched it now it wouldn't be as good so I'm gonna put it on I'd rather be watching something else all right so we have finally reached the last show this is another MTV show that I really actually wanted to watch when it came on but I never watched it it's got Greg Sulkin in it. That's probably part of the reason why I wanted to watch it, but that show is faking it. Um, so like I said, never seen it. It was kind of before my time of teenagehood. I don't know. Um, I was a young, younger. When, when did that come out? 2014. I was 11. So that was kind of before my time, to be completely honest. Really before I watched these kind of shows completely. So, mm, I, I just never really watched it, but it's whatever. It is on my list. Those are my teen TV gems, I guess. They're not really all gems. Some of them are dirty rocks in my backyard. But uh, that's my teen TV gems tier list. Uh, if you would like to see more videos of me ranking anything, for that matter, uh, like literally anything then just let me know I could rank five soft songs or one direction songs or literally whatever you guys want um I could rank it okay so I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely subscribe for more videos comment what you what shows that you want me to do on another video and also if you think I should do other tier rankings uh, because I actually definitely enjoy it so let me know if you guys enjoy it. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next Wednesday.